solve this triangle. First thing, I'll go ahead and get that third angle. So if we did, I mean, we could just do 180 minus 141 would give you 39. And then we got to subtract the 23 still, which will give us a 16 degree angle over here. Cool. Now we're ready to go. Now the only side they labeled is this side with E, which matches up with angle D. Did I say E? I meant 9. They labeled this side 9. And that corresponds to angle D. So when we're setting up our sine ratios, that's going to be our constant one. So we could say uh, sine of 16 degrees over 9 equals, and then we'll pick one of the other angles. So let's say sine of 23 degrees over the corresponding side is F. So if we cross multiply, we'd have F times sine of 16 equals 9 times sine of 23. And then we'll divide by the sine of 16 degrees. Now again, we're, we're going to be approximating here. So put the squiggly equal sign. If you forget it, it's fine. But when you're approximating, that's usually common. 9 times sine of 23 divided by sine of 16 is 12.75. So we'll call it 12.8. So that was side F, 12.8. And now we got to find side E. So let's say sine of 16 over 9 again. Now you can use the sine of um, 23 over, and we know F is 12.8. That's approximated, so that'll work fine. But let's go with what we know for sure, what they gave us. So sine of 16 over 9, uh, we're looking for E. And that matches with 141 degrees, sine of 141 degrees over E. Keep forgetting the letters here. So if we cross multiply, we have E times sine of 16 equals 9 times sine 141. Divided by sine of 16 degrees. We're approximating, so E squiggly news nine times sine 141 divided by sine of 16 20.54 so we'll say 20.5 down here 20.5 hey things to look for to make sure your triangle is correct the largest angle will be across from the longest side 141 is our long biggest angle it's across from the largest side, 20.5. The smallest angle, 16 degrees, is across from the smallest side, 9. And then the mediumist angle is across from the mediumist side. So if something doesn't work there, go back and check your work. So I'll stop this and we'll start the next one.